Hello and welcome back to the Air Armoury. I'm JRH and today I'm looking at the Shooting Crony F1 Chronograph. Okay, so never again on the air armoury you can hear the line, but I can't test that as I don't have a chronograph. Now I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and there's a number of different companies out there that make chronographs, but I opted for one of the shooting crony ones as they seem to be the industry standard. Now before I talk about this particular model, I just want to go back to basics and briefly say what is a chronograph and why would you want one. Now in the context of shooting, a chronograph will measure the speed of a projectile, but why do you want to know how quickly your pellet's going? Where they're going to allow you to get to know your gun a lot better, you can find out what the power is, uh, you can test to see which are the best pellets for them, and you can find your optimum pressure for your PCPs. Uh, you can find out if there's anything wrong with your gun, if you're getting low or varied speeds and power, and if you're into tuning your guns then they're great for knowing exactly what effect your adjustments are having and allow you to stay within the legal limit. Now let's have a closer look at the F1 and its features. So this is the chronograph, now the main unit is made of steel, so it's very sturdy and durable. It's got an LCD screen on the front for displaying the speed. And when you're not using it, you can fold it up to make it smaller and protect it. You just simply remove these diffusers. Fold it up, like so. And in fact, Crony's slogan is, if it doesn't unfold, it's not Crony. Unfolding it again, you can see it's powered by a 9 volt battery and apparently a standard battery will power it for up to 48 hours use and you can see on the front here there's an on off switch when you're not using it now the way it works there are two light sensors one at the front here and one at the back there and they pick up the change in light as the pellet goes over them and then measure the time it takes to pass between the two um, as I said this is the F1 model which means it measures it in feet per second but as you can see from the box here, you can also get an M1 model, which measures it in metres per second. Um, and Shuji Crony boasts that this will measure with a 99.5% accuracy or better. Before you use the Crony, you need to put in these metal guide rods, which help you line up the shot to make sure you shoot through the centre. And unless it's a cloudy day, you also need to put on these white plastic diffusers. Now the purpose of those is it helps the sensors pick up the change in light better. Now setting it up ready to shoot you either need to put it on a firm flat surface or on a tripod. You can see there it's got a threaded hole so it could be mounted onto a tripod and you need to make sure the end of your barrel is about three feet away and you're shooting in the center of the guide rod so just be careful if you're using a scope that you're not going to hit the crony and of course you need to make sure that you've got a backstop in place that's capable of stopping your pellet. As you can see here I've got the crony set up on a bench and to give a demonstration I thought I'd use my SMK QB78 Deluxe since that was the last gun featured on the Air Armoury and I'll put a link to that in the description below. I'm going to fire 10 shots through the crony using these 7.9 grain Daystate Rangemaster pellets. Here I have my list of the pellet speeds for those 10 shots. Now I'm going to use those numbers to just work out a few basic things about the gun. I'm first going to calculate the range in velocity, then the average velocity, and then I'll use that average to work out the power of the rifle. So first of all the range, I'm going to take the fastest pellet, which was 666.2 feet per second, and then subtract the slowest, which was 657.8. That gives me a range or a spread of just 
feet per second, which is pretty good. Then for the average, I'm simply going to add them all up and divide by the number of shots, which was 10. That gives an average velocity of 662.23 and then I'm going to work out the power so I'm going to square the average velocity and then times that by the weight of the pellet in grains which was 7.9 and then divide that by 450,240 and that gives me a power of around 7.69 foot-pounds. Now those formulas as well as a couple of others are actually set out in the manual. Now as I've said this is the F1 but there are some other models. Now the F1 along with the M1 both of which are green are the base models Then the next one up is the Alpha which is red that one has a 32 shot memory and will work out the average range and standard deviation for you so you don't have to dig out the calculator like I did. And after the Alpha comes the blue Beta model which does everything the Alpha does but has a 60 shot memory and will hold up to six different sets of shots. And then lastly comes the Gamma model which is a silvery green colour and that has a 500 shot memory as well as also coming with a mini printer that prints out the results as you go along. Now each model is also available in a master version which includes a wired remote control with a close-up display on it which plugs into this jack socket that you can see here and the printer that comes with the Gamma model is actually available as an aftermarket accessory and will also plug into this. Uh, in terms of price, at one end of the scale you can get the F1 for around £100 but then at the other end of the scale a Gamma Master is going to cost you £250 plus. There you've seen the Shooting Crony F1 in action and learned a bit about it. Now it's well worth getting one of these if you're into your air guns for testing, tuning and maintenance. I bought one for working out which are the best pellets for my guns and also because I'm currently in the process of changing the springs and seals in a couple of my old springers and I want to know what kind of power I'm getting and to make sure I don't go over the legal limit. But if you're happy with your guns the way they are, just for plinking or something, and you're not interested in the data this is going to give you, then this probably isn't the gadget for you. Now the other models obviously have a lot of beneficial features, so if you're going to get a chronograph, which one you got, it's all going to come down to how much you're going to use it and how much you really want to spend. As the Air Armoury is an air gun channel, this video has been very much from the perspective of air guns, but I should stress they're not only for use with air guns. The cronies will measure anything between 30 and 7,000 feet per second, so it can be used for a wide range of guns, anything including air guns, airsoft guns, paintball, archery, shotguns, rim fires, and things like that. Uh, you can buy a special version for paintball, which has a splatter guard. You can buy a special version for archery, which has an inbuilt indoor light, although that light is available as an aftermarket accessory for all the versions. Uh, it comes with a diffuser extension, so if you're using a shotgun, your widest spread of shot isn't going to hit the chronograph. And the instruction manual gives a lot of information about using this with different types of guns, covering everything from how far away the gun should be to how to keep the sensors clean if you're using a messy black powder rifle. So, thanks for tuning into the Air Armoury, and until next time, keep your arms in the air.